All right, it's been a while since I did something. Well, a week or two. Um, been messing with this MCPX, you know. Uh, amp draw had them for 118 in bind and fly, 140 ready to fly. They're now sold out. They dropped the prices because the uh, MCPX2 was coming out. The MCPX2 just has bigger tail blades back here, which I changed that one anyway. I added a longer boom, which is a 30 cent piece of carbon fiber is all that is and uh, I did put brushless in this um, right in there that little red thing that's the brushless motor because this is a brushed system matter of fact there's the original motor that's one of the motors brushless motors right there you have to put a brushless speed controller in it and they got a Steve's mod which is a signal converter to convert the signal from the brushed over to what the ESC can use uh, this is everything and I did a little shrink wrap in there I made this uh, solderless you'll see them on there where you got a solder well you know I got everything put together bought a few extra connectors uh, converted it to Dean's of course because bigger battery packs now uh, you can leave it to the standard pack you can fly a SR120 500 milliamp battery pack in it no problem I can actually change back over to that really quick just by undoing one connector going back from Dean's to that I'll probably stick with this for a while honestly this works good for me um, I did order some packs that have Dean's connectors on them I like them better than the micro that comes on the original batteries so anyway I ordered two test packs until my other battery packs come in. I got some 500 milliamps and some 600 milliamps coming in with Dean's on them. These are 1,000 milliamp uh, compared to the copter. <laughs> yes, they are pretty big. And weight-wise, 1,000 milliamps compared to uh, this 200 milliamp. Yeah, there's probably five batteries worth of weight there, I would say. But it flies good and it handles the pack. I had to rig something to hold it. As you can see, I just took a rubber band, crisscrossed it around the frames, and then went around it that way. It holds fine. Uh, this is the C05M motor. It is the lower of the motors for doing the brushless conversion. Uh, there is an HP05 and I think an 09 people use. They are really hot motors. I may end up going to one of those motors. Uh, I mean, with the stock motor, I was able to flip it over, fly, invert it, and it was okay, but it was sluggish. With this motor and a smaller pack, this thing will flip right over in a heartbeat. It's fly barless, three-axis gyro system built into it. It's really fun. This is actually replacing my sim. Uh, I take it up to the school, fly it in a gymnasium. Uh, if I can do it on this, I can do it on a real one. So, but... The brushless is a nice feature if anybody's thinking about getting one. Uh, fly it for a little bit, get used to it, and start looking at going brushless. Because I really do like this thing brushless. The, the power difference is just unreal, even with this being the smaller of the motors. You know, the, the HP series, I may end up getting one. Um... I mean, if it creates more power, I mean, I just can't imagine. I mean, talk about fun. I'm, I'm using an 8 tooth pinion on this. I could have went with a 9. I decided to go with an 8. Uh, as your cell runs down, you'll have less bogging on the 8, of course. But, I mean, this is pretty sweet, people. Uh, well, I just thought I'd keep you apprised as to what I'm doing. My only other problem is the way I've mounted the speed controller and everything. My canopy doesn't want to fit. But that's no big deal. You can go to Heli Freaks uh, forum. There is a printable canopy for the MCPX. I'm just going to blow that up slightly to make it slightly bigger. Cut them out. Uh, you print them on like heavy cardstock or photo heavy card or photo paper. And I have one I did, and you can see how flimsy that is. The one on heavy photo paper is just as just as protective as this little plastic canopy. And they cost me about 50 cents to print them out. So, um, thank you for watching. Any questions, give me a holler.